How many people are from Missouri? Illinois. Arkansas. Quincy, Illinois. Indiana. Who else? What other states represented here? If, please all shout at once. California, North Carolina. North Carolina? I spent seven, eight years almost in, in South Carolina. California. California. I think that's a winner. Let's ask from Hawaii. Alaska? You know, we call this the St. Louis Tea Party, but it's really not. It's 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 America's Tea Party. It's a it's a, it's a coming together of uh, uh, people from every economic and social group you could possibly imagine. A whole lot of people who who spent their life just assuming that it was always going to be the way it, it used to be. And this year, I think we've uh, we've been hit time and time again with the reality that there are many people in this country who don't want to keep it the way it's always been. They want to change it to, to the way, well, the way it was in the countries that we left to come here and start this one. And one of the most frightening things that, that we've, we've talked about this year is this legislation called cap and trade. Our first speaker today is a gentleman named Mike Carey. He's a true advocate and he recently formed the American Council for Affordable and Reliable Energy. When he saw that misinformation and lies were beginning to shape the political landscape on coal and global warming. Mr. Carey knows firsthand the importance of reliable and affordable energy and what it means to getting our economy back to work. Prior to joining the uh, Ohio Coal Association, Mr. Carey served as both a staff member and a volunteer for several officials. He's held several positions in congressional office. He's acted as a liaison between the office and other government agencies. From 1989 to 1999, he served the United States as an officer in the United States Army Reserves. He's a coal industry expert, a global warming expert, and he knows what would happen if we brought this breed of socialism to the United States of America. Mr. Mike Carey! Thank you. Thank you very much. Good afternoon, St. Louis! And God bless America! You know, I started the American Council for Affordable and Reliable Energy because I was watching what Nancy Pelosi, Harry Reid, and Barack Obama were saying. Now I gotta tell you, it wasn't any surprise to me how many people remember right before the election, then candidate, Senator Barack Obama said, we're gonna bankrupt the coal industry and I hope Peabody's hearing that. We're going to bankrupt the coal industry by putting a cap and trade on that's so expensive nobody's going to be able to build a coal plant. Well, I got a little nervous about that, as you can imagine. So I started calling and writing. But you know what? Barack Obama won that election. And then he and Nancy Pelosi and Harry Reid got together and said, we're going to pass a cap and trade bill and we're going to raise the cost of electricity because we don't like the way that we produce electricity here in America. And along the way, maybe we can do a few other changes to the way America operates. And just let me give you an example. If cap and trade were to pass, the United States Congress would have the ability to tell you where to live, what to drive, how much you could eat, and how energy efficient your home would have to be. Now friends, I don't know about you, 
But those are choices that I want to make. Those are choices that individuals, Americans, want to make. Now, one thing about cap and trade, I don't know whether you've seen some of the some of the blogging and some of the information on Fox about all of these emails that have kind of leaked out from a place over in England. Anybody possibly heard of that? That's right. That's right. And I'll tell you something. Senator Inhofe at Oklahoma is standing up and he's calling everybody to task. I applaud his efforts and I encourage you to stand with him and make sure there's accountability to the lies and the deceit that we have been hearing for the last 20 years. Now look, climate change legislation and cap and trade legislation just doesn't affect people that are working in the coal mines or in the refineries or in the steel mills. It affects all of them. Because an average family of four in the first phase of this bill uh, by the Heritage Foundation could pay up to $3,000 a family. Now, look, I don't know about you, that's $3,000 I don't want to have to spend. I'm very happy of having our domestic energy, our coal, our oil and gas, our nuclear, our renewables. And I gotta tell you something, we could have more energy, we could expand the pie, but these same people that wanna stop all forms of energy wanna stop us from accessing those, those resources. Drill, baby, drill! Drill, baby, drill! Mine, baby, mine! Now, Congress, you've got to send the message to your senator here in Missouri. But you, I'm going to tell on that is. But I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to tell you something, folks. Cap and trade is a step to Copenhagen. All right? And how many people are aware of what's going on in Copenhagen right now? All right? Little inconvenient for them that this email gate kind of sprung out, don't you think? But I gotta tell you, what's gonna happen is this administration wants to go over there and they wanna come back with something. Well, what they're gonna come back with, what they're gonna come back with is gonna hurt you. So make sure when they do come back, they only stick around for a while and get them out of there. Now I encourage you, to write your Congress people. I mean, I could do that. I, I, I do it as much as I can. I try to get out as much as I can. I try to tell folks how bad this legislation could be for them and their families. But I gotta tell you, it's up to all of you. Woo! And you know that. We know that. You know because you're all here. On a beautiful Saturday afternoon, you're here coming together to talk about issues that help America. And when you go back home, cap and trade's bad. But don't let them pass any, any new energy tax on you. Don't let them do it. And when it comes to Capitra, or when it comes to Copenhagen, make sure you let your folks know that that's bad too. Now, I implore all of you to come look at our website, acarenow.org. We'll keep you updated on what's going on. But friends, it's up to you, and you know that. And I appreciate everything you're doing. God bless all of you, and God bless America. Thank you very much. Mike Perry, remember that name.